I could try it on this map though, right? I can I can do like a Skyguard thing up here. Let me let me just try the same thing. Snake. Yo, I mean Zimmerman, I'm kind of just asking you because I know there's shit going on with them, but I'm not I'm not like 100% on the specifics. But like you know, you don't have to let me know. I'll just look it up later. I just, I don't think I'm gonna be reading the forums on my stream, you know. Dream anime just told you. Yeah, I knew about the line of sight thing. Um, I feel like there's more going on. That are just they're just weak relative to the new flyer HPs and the uh, changes. But I feel like they're not doing as much, even when you have line of sight. So knock up sky guards, buffs, and that's it, right? Let's do it here, like I normally do. What weapon? <laughs> Game, please. The monk? Uh, Harvey Fist? I don't know, one of the Harpy Fists from before the patch. Actually, this was my Lightning Strike Aura, my Lightning Aura Lightning Strike Aura builder. So I just had the Harpy's Fist one. Oh, that's a horrible spot. But I don't want them attacking over the wall either. Let's just short lane it then. Range on them with the Cobalt Flyers, the AA won't start shooting at them until they're like 50% into the range of the AI. A? I haven't, I haven't, definitely not 50 is what I've noticed. I've seen it seem like a little less than their max though. Um, I think Zim said 70%. I could, I could agree with 70. 50 seems extreme from what I've noticed. But I mean that I just that's my own personal experience. That doesn't mean squat, so maybe it is fifty. Or maybe like if you don't do gambit or something or range shard. It's fifty or something dumb like that. I'm okay with the lower lane opening, I think. Actually I don't I can I can save it. I can save the sub objective. Assuming it works. Alright, so we got that, we got this, and we can put a boost, like a thing here. Alright, step one, done. Yeah, I have full range and gambit. Um, I don't know, I, it doesn't feel like it's hurting me right now, but maybe that's because I just have so much range that I'm powering through it. So if I put this here, it hits that lane fine, but not great if it's here. I need to shift this over. Because that hits everything I need right there. Alright, how many do I have per side though? So both things are up. I've got... 460 left, 459 sky guards, 9 guards. It's actually kind of really annoying. Is there any way to do like one less? No, I can't even do one less while I need like 40. Alright, so I'll do 4 per side. Wait, I want this slightly over. Not right there, right there. That, 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 and that. Yeah, that gets that lane as well. And I think if they're bubbled, it should have line of sight. Yeah. 
Here, let's move them slightly back. Got it. This if these P shoot or a Cobalt or something. Nah, the four of them, they should be enough for a Cobalt, even if they never crit. Also, Lyra Unicorn. So, I can do one more. I can try to be weird and put it, like, here. Because you can kind of get, like, three lanes in one go doing just this. Almost. Yeah, it doesn't need to be that far up. Let me just sew it like here. Even further. Sure, it's not buffed, but it's doing a bit. Though, what if I put one here? Nah, it doesn't quite reach that far. Okay. Let's not push it. I've had a bit more range on these, though. Now, for you guys to say it's true about that 70% thing, like, I'm max ranging some of these things to make them work. It might not be the best idea. Though, let's be fair, I don't think this build's the best idea either. Unless it works great, in which case it's the best uh, build that's ever happened. You know me, knock-up builds. It seems OP in your eyes, we'll see. Because there's a limit to bubble targets, even with 3 per lane. I'm going to have a lot of things beating on walls. Especially with a short lane like, lane like this. Like, This is probably inadvisable to do what I'm doing here if I'm doing this build. But I've already done it. Okay. So these already died to a freaking Cobalt Flyer. That's, that's fantastic. That's exactly what I need right now. Assuming I live, though, I'm going to keep up with the same thing. Like, if I can power through this wave. The other side has stuff on the walls. Come on. Yeah, well I mean, remember that thing I said about like, the kobolds shouldn't be a problem? Get off of the freaking walls you turds! So like, I might just have a weird like line of sight thing on the kobold coming in. Which is really bad. Yo, surfing on snakes. I'm gonna believe though. I'm already starting to believe. Also, I need to... I need to do Buried Bastille so I can make you guys believe in my uh, Skyguard build. My typical Skyguard setup. Even this lane though. 27 kills. You have one kill, nice. I'm su I mean, I'm really surprised they went down. But I've gotta believe this will save him. Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade that guy. Uh, he's unarmored, but I can put something on him and keep him in my deck. Just in case. Um, let's give him something with health. Honestly, it doesn't really matter as long as it's healthy. I 
At least they won't, like, die right away, I guess is the idea. Um, his armor is pretty bad. Do I have a bulwark sitting around? I must. Of course I'll upgrade it. Bulwark's always good. So he's at 14k. Alright, that should average out. Did I really not make this guy active? There we go. Damn, I am actually getting pretty hungry. Maybe snack time after this build. And then I'll do another one up here. We have to spend more time on the other side. Right, you didn't do anything because you couldn't see anything. I hope that one has line of sight down there. It's got 35 kills. 42. Waiting on this cobalt flyer. Oh god, it's so cool. Ah, I don't have it right away. Stop! Doing the things you do, you jerks. Can't let him stomp. Actually, let's just get out of that side. For a second, I'll just try to crit him. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. The ogre's not going to take like any damage that isn't me. Please. Ah. Why are they bubbling though? Uh, is do I got like a grounded lane or something? Yo, isn't there a map uh, that doesn't have lane passes? Very best still doesn't. The other ones do though, right? Well, this one doesn't. Okay, this one would, in theory still work. Yo, the last thing I need is a freaking Sakellian, though. And a fur- and a Siege Roller. Okay. If I can deal with Assassins better, though, I should be fine. For the bosses, at least. Jeez. Yo, Marzipan, what's going on? Oh, man. Okay, you. Yes. Uh, you. Also, yes. Um, you too. Because I don't have enough for another upgrade anyways. Um, yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Yes. How's the Serenity Aura up here doing? Or Boost Aura? Uh, whatever happened to that Cobalt Flyer though, I got dealt with, so that's good. Interesting build. Yeah, you can blame the Legion for this one. Excuse me? Oh, weird. Alright, so... I need to pump off this uh, Slucky really fast. Just Flame Aura, dude. Honestly, you can do it on this map since the flame arrows will hit the fire, uh, the flyers. And I'm pretty sure you can do it without walls. I haven't tested it, like I did mine with walls. But I did one wall in each lane in flame arrows. Easy.
I need to stop popping them. Like what I just did. I see you jerk. Oh, I have freaking Sparkle Party. I need to remember that. Oh my god, Vanguard too. I did that on purpose. The uh, north left side. The north left, the northwest. I have no idea why like this lane isn't working. Oh god. This is the end? No! This is not working. This is not working at all. I don't know why this lane doesn't. Is it like they're trying to get ground these uh, wither beasts and it's just not letting them bubble other things? He nearly did it. Yeah, we stopped him though. The evil goblin. Honestly, like, I want slightly longer living walls, I think, before anything else right now. I'm just really lucky that wasn't this Lacalian there that spawned that wave, too. Is Light Aura strong? It's alright. It's alright. Uh... I'm a little fond of it because, like, you can just get it to one-shot an assassin that immediately jumps on you. So, like, it's an insta-death to an assassin if it crits. It's pretty fun. Now, is it worth it for that reason? Uh... Yo, books? Books should freaking get knocked up. Or not knocked up, hit by Skyguards, like, all the time. My damage is getting stronger, my walls are hopefully just gonna live a little longer. Honestly, you know, I'll just keep my deck. Everything in here is armor. Alright, this is gonna be rough. What? I've never had a javelin tosser hit there. Ever. Is it because like it aimed for the middle wall or something? Those don't get bubbled. I think they get temporarily disabled though. Probably shouldn't have sparkle party there. Yeah, 
Damn. Okay, how's this lane doing? Better for now. Clear the books. Oh. Omni's back? Yo, I blame Vanguard, man. What the heck? Vanguard, why this build's so hard? They blocked the bubbling, maybe. Whew! Yo, Omni, Keys, welcome back, both of ya. As a must? Um, not as a first, but it's pretty important to have it on most things, it seems, yeah. Whether it's your primary or secondary, you want it, in a lot of cases, as your primary. What do I think about the patch? Um, a lot of good with it. I think there was a lot of good in this patch. I think they overtuned crit damage, though. Are they wrecked Skyguards? Um, Skyguards no longer fire without line of sight, and something's going on with the range. Honestly, like, the worst thing that happened to Skyguards, in my opinion, was just that Flyers got a little bit more HP, and it, you know, their good plays got kind of brought down. Cool. You like the crit patch is fun? Yeah, um, I think it got easier, but at the same time, I don't think that's necessarily good. Alright, roller. God, we have two freaking rollers. Um, you know what I'm going to do with this last bit? I'm going to upgrade these front walls. Because I'm not going to get over here very quickly at all. Oh. Full marks? No, but a lot of marks, yeah. But you can do like medallion with power transfer in a lot of the cases where you're using a mark. Oh god. Oh, I was really lucky he didn't port out. Um, I need to move right now. Oh, jeez. Roller's on the wall over there. Okay. This wall is in a shitty spot too because of Vanguard's, but I need to go clear the roller on the wall over there. Punch me. Hit me harder.
Oh shit, this one. Woo! Go, 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 go. Please, please. My win streak. No! Oh my god, I'm so glad I looked at the minimap. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so like they look bugged or something. I'm so glad they were. Holy shit. Oh wait, I lost the map, my consecutive one thing. I lost before this, so it doesn't matter. Good. Ooh. Ooh. And shards got better, right? But some defenses are meta got all about creating a little worse. Um I don't know if anything got really worse other than sky guards. Um Shards are Apparently, is it a target farm? Um, it's two days in, it's hard to tell. Meta got a lot of crit, yeah. Holy shit. Alright, I'm never doing this build again on this current patch. With these specific conditions. Basically, unless something changes, I'm not doing this again, but I do want to do knock-up builds in the future. But maybe when Sky Guards are in a little bit of a better place. But, yo, it was fun while it worked. Let's put these back together. Right, and oh yeah, it is just crit damage. Oh, I was like, why did when did these things get hit? They never got hit. Switching hour, money compensator. I should actually I, I could actually use that, but I already have one, so let's get rid of it. <laughs> 